Mass murder is bad. On this point, there is consensus. My thesis is going to focus on a particular form of politicized mass murder called lone wolf terrorism. Lone wolf terrorism is a political act of violence perpetrated against civilians by one person who doesn't belong to any terrorist organization. The typical lone wolf recruits, trains, arms, and indoctrinates themselves. They plan and initiate their own attacks without any direction from a superior. This makes lone wolves very difficult to predict and prevent. Despite not having the same kind of resources as a terror cell, lone wolf attacks can still kill dozens or hundreds of innocent people. For example, in 2011, a lone right-wing extremist in Norway took 77 lives through a combination of bomb and gun attacks. My research will seek to develop a conceptual tool to better understand and combat this phenomenon. Dangerous speech is a particular brand of hate speech that can help us understand how lone wolves become radicalized toward violence. It was originally developed to explain incidences of mass violence, like genocide or ethnic conflict. Dangerous speech is shaped to incite violent action by many members of its audience. I will investigate whether it can also apply to violence by individuals. Common hallmarks of dangerous speech include dehumanizing the enemy, for instance, by referring to them as vermin or cockroaches, or appealing to grievances in the audience to justify violence against defenseless people. These same hallmarks can be seen in speech associated with lone wolves. Lone wolves may indoctrinate themselves, but the media used in this process does come from somewhere. From extremist websites, for instance, or from demagogues in the community. My thesis will use case studies of individual lone wolves, focusing on the ideology behind their actions. For each case study, I will search for the hallmarks of dangerous speech in the media these people consumed while forming the beliefs they killed for, and in the manifestos they posted hoping to inspire others. The goal is to determine whether the concept of dangerous speech can be applicable toward helping to understand how lone wolves become as violent as they are. The hope is that through this understanding can come increased prevention. Thank you.